Hi friends, today we are dealing with the exercise question 1.24 2 parallel plate capacitor or 2 charged plates You can see here one is charged with plus Q and another one is charged with the minus Q and each one is surface charge density sigma The first one is asking for what is the electric field in the outer region of the first plate so say it as this is the first plate and this is the second plate so once again we are going to find out the electric field at this point that is at the left side of the first plate at the in between two plates and the right side of the second place three points we are talking about so now let's draw the direction of electric field say the point P and this is the point Q and this is the point R what is electric field at the point P due to first plate first plate is positively charged so the direction of electric field you can see here showing left side I can write it as E1 what is E1 even is electric field due to first charged plate that is positive charged plate at the same point P there is an electric field due to second plate that is negatively charged plate what is the direction of that one its direction will be towards right so it has E2 so we got the direction of electric field in the left side now let's move to the midpoint what is the electric field at the point Q due to first plate it's a positive charge so I can write here draw here this is the direction of E1 at the same point Q due to second plate that is negatively charged plate the direction will be towards right you can write it as E2 now let's move to the right side of the second plate at the point R what is electric field due to first plate is a positive charge southward so this is E1 electric field E1 due to first plate at the same point R what is electric field due to the second plate negatively charged plate E E2 right the E2 direction will be in opposite direction this is E2 ok now we are going to find out the electric field at the point P so by using superposition principle what is the total electric field at the point P E is equal to E1 plus E2 so everywhere by using superposition principle the formula is same only E is equal to E1 plus E2 at the point R also superposition principle E is equal to E1 plus E2 now use the sign convention at the point P E1 shows left side so I can write it as E1 is negative what about E2 towards right side E2 is positive same way at the point Q E1 and E2 both are showing right side right so you can say both are positive in the third case the point R E1 is positive and E2 is negative now use a formula so E is equal to at the point P E1 is negative and E2 1 right so okay here at point Q E is equal to both are positive right so E1 plus E2 now move to the point R total electric field E is equal to here E1 is positive and E2 is negative so you can write here E1 minus E2 now at the point P E is equal to what is E1 electric field due to first plate on 0 so you can write here minus sigma divided by 2 epsilon 0 
plus sigma divided by 2 epsilon. Question is asking for first one in the outer region of the first plate, what is the electric field? 0. In the outer region of the second plate, what is the electric field? 0. Now, the third one, C, between the plates. Now, you are going to call E is equal to what is the sigma value given the 17 into 10 to the power minus 22 divided by what is the epsilon 0 value 8.85 into 10 to the power minus 12 so you can see here 8 here 17 approximately 2 so the answer is approximately 2 into minus 12 minus 22 2 into 10 to the power minus 10 newton per coulomb so this is the exercise question 1.24 just like a, uh, this is application of parallel plate capacitor electric field will be there only at the midpoint not the outside okay i hope you understand this one